Hello everyone and welcome to the show matches in place of Break the Game Weekly number 8. We are doing show matches this week, or a show match, best of five, between Santa Claus and Flecky, and Totally Not a Voyeur, and Spockling, who are kind enough to continue along as the tournament was cancelled on short notice, so we are going to just have them playing a best of five on whatever they want, starting on Lost Province. This, right off the bat, I'd say Santa Claus and Flicky definitely have a bit of an advantage. I'm not sure, yeah, I think Magical, Hydra, Scruffy, other high-level players probably busy. I think there's a StarCraft event this weekend. So my guess is they're, they are just busy with that. Also, the sign-up link was posted a little late, which isn't, well, it wasn't, sorry, it wasn't, wasn't posted late. Do check the events, because the events tab was where they were posted. They will be posted in the tournament chat channel from now on, but they were posted in the events tab last week, and no one saw it. So, that's a big reason what happened. Yeah, I don't want to say they just had it outright. But I also feel like there was a lot of damage dealt. Okay, we are redoing. Alright, there is no, no score change. It's still 0-0. Zero to zero. Sounds good. And the game is starting once again. Looks like we are going to have similar setup, except Flicky going for Orzum this time. Oh wait, no, there were Orzum last time. Santa Claus is all. And everything should be working today. Or this, not today. <laughs> very short days today. No, very, this, this match should be fine. There we go. All right. That's what I want to see. And again! Going for the exact same strategy. Let's see if it works better this time. I... Just like, come on. Spockling and Nandavoyer should be getting in on this, I would think. It's... Yeah, they absolutely are. Spockling sees... Realizes, yeah. They're, they're, Santa just does the same thing every time. So let's... Let's quickly build defenses. Get something up. The, the workers just simply cannot do as much damage. This is... Presumably the counter. Like this should work. <laughs> We're, there's no ma there's no fast expand. There's nothing that can easily be knocked down without actually getting into a fight. And the military structures are already being built up. So there's gonna be a bit of damage dealt to the Acropolis, which might matter at the end game, maybe. But largely no. It looks like it's gonna be you know, some economic damage kinda going back and forth. Which is not great for either side, but both of them are a little bit lacking in mining time. So, that's the Acropolis tank, really. Especially if it just t shields that tank. If only shields tank, they can just heal the shield. And even if they don't, the thing is, again, not Nodavir can just set up their their Empire Unbroken, and then be fine. If it comes down to it. And indeed, only shield damage was dealt! So all the working units have to go back, and that's that's a decent chunk of alloy that their that blue team is simply not mining because all their workers units were over attacking the red team base. There has been a transition into a military sh opening for blue team. There is going to be a fast, or there's going to be an expansion eventually. But Santa and Flicky are kind of broke. No, not of our and Spockling should. Have the advantage that they're pushing in. They're getting it for tower. Hmm. If Spockling takes it, then yes. Otherwise, now not a virus taken. They're just generally wanting pyre. That makes sense. Even just infuses would be enough. Or Santa not done yet. Going for the Southwest Rocks. And also keeping an eye on whether or not their opponents do expand, which they will. As Flicky does expand, Santa has not yet expanded. Their own their own economy going primarily into military, having built a second Altar of the Worthy, and focusing very heavily on back line here. Uh, 
red team getting pretty hyper focused on getting their pyre going. An understandable concern. But it does mean that their military advantage is not going to serve them as far as actually dealing damage. In fact, they're in a little bit of an awkward position because the Bone Stalkers can outrange the Zentari. There it is. There's the infuse. Bobbing down, get rid of a couple of Bone Stalkers. Almost. I think I get rid of all the Bone Stalkers. Some defense comes in for Flicky, but not a Voyeur coming in the backup as well. So blue team losing everything. Only two Zentari remain for Flicky. And they are coming into the fight late. <laughs> Cannot help. Two Zentari, one Bone Stalker. There will be rebuilds, obviously. This isn't this you know, immortal is kind of game where you can rebuild pretty quickly. Still, not a Voyeur and and Spockling. Fully defended, getting their expansions up. They've gotten a bunch of pyre on the map, though they have somewhat seeded map control at the moment. Still getting more Zentari. Well, Spockling going for more just more basic units. Not if you're getting some tech, any neurosite. They are getting Godheart, and from here. See what they go for next. Given the circumstances, lots of light units you're dealing with that are roaming around the map, I kind of expect we're going to see Icors. However, it could just be go in, get get the Red Veil. And it is! Get the Red Veil. Upgrade all of the mass Hunters. Make them as strong as possible. Not a bad choice. Unfortunately, Santa Claus coming in the back line, or fortunately for them, Santa Claus coming into the back line to take out their moats once again. And actually deal some significant damage to the Acropolis. Defenses are on the way, Zentari are here. We will be able to wipe out all the, all the Bone Stalkers. But again, at the cost of their entire alloy line. Two Bone Stalkers go down. For an entire alloy line, absolutely worth it. 100 alloy for about a 700 alloy value. Fuse coming from Flicky. Not if you're offering to get away from there. Gets their own tower. At least provides a little bit of healing so they can sustain a fight if need be. More importantly, Stockling able to get their own forces in here, which means they will be able to help out. And that gives Flicky no room to deal damage. It's not until Santa Claus comes in, which they are. Infuse popping for Santa Claus. Mark Frey as well on top of Spockling's forces. They need to get away. They are vulnerable now. Everything regrouping at the tower. That leaves the third somewhat vulnerable. Leaves the rest of the base is very vulnerable. But the fight is for the army. Blue team is losing a ton of their frontline units. Santa Claus is dealing the damage. And Santa Claus's damage is more than enough to take out everything red team has built up. Very likely including the third base. Almost certainly including this tower protecting it. Reinforcements are on the way for none of your... Spockling building up some Zephyrs to get back at this. It's just taking a little while. The tower does go down. No easy position to to build from. And now not if you're here. They have their offering. They have their mass hunters. They have a bunch of pyre and the rain of blood drops. Giving them the all the advantages they can possibly take from this fight. Got rid of the dervish. Getting rid of the Zephyrs, but losing mass hunter after mass hunter. Zephyrs from Spockling come in here, but it may be too little too late to save the third base. We're going to get one final push, or is the third base going down as an Absolver comes in as well to help just keep away any of these units that would be trying to defend. Zagal's lead. Try to tank out the Absolver. Not happening, though. The targeting does hit all the Mass Hunters, leaves them with nothing left to protect the third. And that's while Flicky is building their own. Santa Claus, though, it's worth noting, they have... Not expanded. They might be expanded to the southwest, but they have simply not expanded this entire game. They have been relying entirely on Bone Stalkers. They have also gotten, at least, they've gotten stock Bone Stalkers. They haven't gotten Ambush. Oh, they have! Never mind. They have gotten Ambush. Oh, boy. Oh, these Bone Stalkers. Ooh, dealing triple damage to everything in the first hits. Assuming they're cloaked. Or hidden, rather. Which they currently are not. Gotta be careful there. They have to be stationary for like four seconds in order to actually get anywhere. This stage map control is entirely in the blue team's favor. Despite getting their economy more or less back on track, red team simply didn't 
really get the map control they initially stolen. So from here, blue team's just... They're just ramping up. Flicky double-checking for any hidden expansions, making sure nothing is... No shenanigans are happening. Santa Claus looking possibly to build a hidden expansion. I mean, clearly they're looking to just end this with Bone Stalkers. Is this enough to take out the Acropolis? Holy crap! Yes, it is! <laughs> wow! Okay, yeah, I knew triple damage is a lot, but... Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot, a lot. Same time Flicky coming in from the front side. Sparkling essentially loses their economy. Flicky coming in from the front to take out everything they can, while Spockling pushes away the Bone Stalkers, but the damage has been done. Tower goes down as well, and now it's just a matter of Flicky pushing in gradually, doing the Orzum thing. And that Orzum thing, that slow push, is going to be somewhat stymied by the Dread Sisters. That, that may be enough to allow for Spockling to get the reinforcements in here. The Absolver still providing a lot of trouble. Spockling still gets in, gets their pillar. Of course, the Absolver on their own and takes it out. Same time, though, Santa Claus comes in with infused Bone Stalkers to pick off a few stragglers before deciding that's that's the win. They got an Acropolis. They left Wolf King. They left Spockling with just their Bastion and their natural expansion, and got rid of the third as well. I mean, that was that was a massive win for the blue team. It's just this is the regroup, regroup to finish off stage of the game. Like, unless unless red team is able to defend the next attack, it is that next attack is going to be the last attack. Santa also building up an expansion just in case. The key thing, though, is for red team, is that this is the first expansion that Santa Claus has gotten. The saving grace that red team has is that while they're economically not doing great, their opponents have been focusing so much on the military. Well, Santa more than Flicky, but still focusing so much on the military that there is theoretically a bit of an opening. Detectors will be necessary to do this, and neither player is building them. For reference, you can build them out of the Bastion directly, or you can upgrade scouts to de become detectors. Either way, that gives you the ability to spot all these bone stalkers before they come out of hidden. They'll still have their damage boost, but you can at least be a little more selective about what get hits what gets hit by it. And second Acropolis does go down. Are they getting a body blocked? Santa Claus is able to escape. Flicky comes in with the reinforcements. And right now, right now, none of you are actually with a threatening army. Incubator Dread Sister set up, which. Ooh, that could be very devastating. Throw out a few birthing storms on top of the kill that'll drop in the incubators. That's. That's your front line right there. Well, there it is. Moment of truth. The absolvers are deployed. There's the root. There's the birthing storm. And the the birthing starts. Mark Prey coming in, however. That is going to be a massive threat while Flicky sets up the pillar. Forcing the retreat by the red team. They were able to gain a bit of an army value advantage. They're going to have to wait a few seconds just to get that damage bonus off of them. And now they wait at the bridge. Blue team does have their economy going. Red team has to be a bit careful. They do have this opening to work from the behind. As behemoths come around the back to take out yet another <laughs> Acropolis being built up. It's worth noting there's... Is, do I don't have air? We have an Angelarium. We have one Angelarium. Nothing has been built up to deal with air. No, no Sentinels or anything. The Centauri are not able to shoot up. Worth noting. In fact, a lot of the units here aren't. Absolver unable to do much either. Flicky just trying to poke. Flicky Santa just finding what vulnerabilities they can. That is the key thing here. Of course, Flicky does have the economic advantage. Santa Claus, they're on par economically with their opponents. It's advantage largely because the main base does not have any Acropolis and simply hasn't been able to. Constantly being taken out by Behemoths. Well, before the Bone Stalkers, now the Behemoths. Bone Stalkers coming in an army this large. Not quite as effective. Of course, this is with support. The behemoths are are gunning to be the main damage dealers. Okay, now one of the legion halls. Second one goes down. Actually, at this point, Flicky 
Or rather, not flaky. Spockling is oversupply. They cannot build more units. They didn't really have a whole lot of production structures, and now they are a bit dead in the water when it comes to their supply. However, Nautavoyer is able to at least defend somewhat here. Actually, putting putting Flaky's forces in a bind, getting a lot of them on Birthing Storm, and dealing a significant amount of damage in the process, pushing them back. Flicky cannot really fight this, and Santa, focusing entirely on the Behemoths, does not have a frontline force at the moment. I mean, a handful of Bone Stars is not a frontline force make. Nautavoyer, holding the line for the red team, doing everything they can to keep themselves alive while... Spockling tries to rebuild, does defend against Santa Claus's attack, at least on the ground, but the Behemoths providing an increasing pressure from the sky, which nothing has been built up to deal with. Again, Spockling does not have the supply to actually do this. They're just not getting another, another Legion Hall. If they get that other Legion Hall, they will be able to build a couple Sentinels. And that... If that's the priority, they are fine. But at the moment... That's all they have for the Zephyrs here. And a kill. Able to get rid of this Grove or Godheart. Are they able to get rid of the Godheart? Not quite. Gets defended. Beam is coming down, however. Trying to finish it off. Trying to just poke away. It's not dead yet, but it is so close. Not if we are... Seems to be thinking that. There's all these Behemoths in the back, which means there's not a whole lot of assets in the front. They should be able to just push in. Take out the front line force. And in that, they may be right. A lot of Dervish against units that really don't care about the Dervish Splash or about the damage it deals. Of course, not so true about the... Oh my goodness, that Awe Strike! What? Just walking back and forth in fire. That is not healthy for the units. Flick with a pillar on top of this as well. This might be the Force Multiplier they need. Oh no, but losing... Oh, no, they lost They lost the Absolvers. They have nothing to hold the line with. Not a Voyeur. Able to push them back. Are they going to get a revenge hit on the on the expansion? Same time, worth noting, we do have behemoths coming in here. There's no second Acropolis. Spockling is very close to being wiped out. At the same time, the gro the Godheart over the main base for Nanavoyor is vulnerable as well. Nanavoyor does have enough bases to survive this. The same cannot be said for Spockling. They do not have any spare Acropolises. And these this harassment here, I'm just honestly surprised we have not seen a Sentinel. I get that. You know, there's a lot of lot of prioritization of what forces to deal with, but no sentinels means death. Not a voyeur getting up Aerox to deal with the behemoths finally. But they've dealt so much damage. I mean they've wiped out this expansion. It is just not going there. It is not going the red team's way. Santa Claus still hasn't even built up another expansion. Not a voyeur has is on five bases now. They have not lost their bat they've just lost their bastion income. But they're still on five functional bases. So they are sitting pretty. They have a very strong economy to come in here. As much as Nanavoyor is able to has been able to fight them pound for pound, it's still Nanavoyor with a disadvantage that way. Bemis not not wanting to take that fight. Damage coming in here is significant enough. It's not worth it. And the Aerox The Aerox are ready. Nanavoyor, as soon as they throw the Aerox out there, basically that's a couple dead Bemis. Not much to be done about that. The Venus cannot shoot up. Well, the Kittles can't shoot up, more importantly. The Venus come in here. The Kittles are in. The Aerox are not? Where did the Aerox go? That's another... That's another God Heart down. Another Grove Heart down. There's one left. Before Nod of Aeor is just wiped out of the game without even being able to say GG. Flicky pops in the center. Both Flicky and Spockling competing with the tower or the pillars. However, Santa Claus with the Behemoths is able to... What the heck? Santa Claus with the Behemoths is able to just stop any real damage from being dealt. Flicky is the only one left of the tower. Birthing Storm's coming in from Nadavoyer. Not able to do enough damage to really make significant dent in their opponent's forces. Nadavoyer still has a significant army value advantage. Still putting Flicky kind of on the back foot here. Another Birthing Storm coming in with the root. That! There! That's the Birthing Storm root combo they needed. Now, Flicky once again struggling with the fact that their army value is just getting shredded. But it may not matter as 
none of Aaron Spockling are forced to surrender, having lost all of their all of their town hall structures. Whether they like it or not, their game is over. So that is that. Or not lost them, just about lost them all. So that was that. Game one goes to Spe to Santa and Flicky. Tight game. Very, 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 very tough game. It's Absolutely not a trivial game by any stretch, but it did the trick. Also, for those of you who are getting keys in the chat, there is the... You have to go to the Discord for Immortal to redeem them. So you can go deal with that pretty easily. Just go to the... Go to the... Is it Discord? You can go to the Download Immortal channel and then pick up the social client and that'll download the game for you and then you'll be asked at some point for the key that you have received all right game two lost province Game 2 is Lost Province. We will be seeing what happens when... Well, I mean, the thing is that that kind of worked. I mean, let's be honest. It was... It was a... It was deflected. It was initially a victory for the red team. But eventually the blue team just kind of took it back. There wasn't a whole lot that you could say for that, except blue team took it back. But we are into game two, as Santa Claus and Flicky look to be going for the exact same setup as before. Okay, Santa. This time, Santa go for Mala. Wolf King decided to go for, or Spockling decided to go. For, swap factions. Everyone's swapping factions except. Well, okay. Santa Claus is swapping Immortals. Flicky's staying the same. It's starting to strike me as a bit of a no mix, or not a no mix, a mix up. It's actually a mix up into normal. No, it is not. Nope. Nope. There it is again. Santa and Flicky going for the worker rush. Guess that's just the thing. Again, it did kind of sort of work last time. Like, let's be honest, it, it didn't... It wasn't a bad idea. It actually did kind of sort of work. It was a little bit limited, for sure. But it was... It was fine. It wasn't like it lost them the game. They just... It was deflected, yes. But it wasn't... Oh, and this time it's not going to be quite so deflected. The expansion from Spockling, uh, it's not going to work. Yeah, they went they went for Ether. Ether Expo was their plan. This point, I expect Red Team is going to be very much conditioned to expect the Worker Rush coming in. And the defense, not bad, actually. Down to Melee Micro at this point. Oh, but Spockling losing all of their symbios trying to defend this. And now Nautifoyer has none of their most left either. There's Sapari coming in to try to help defend. I don't see any chance of the Bone Stalkers as the Altar of the Worthy is just going to be knocked down before it even gets built at this rate. Symbiotes are coming in, haven't just been rebuilt. This is going to be enough. San and Flicky are pushing it. Pushing it hard. They want to get rid of this Altar of the Worthy, and it is going to go down. No Altar for Spockling. The Sapari are up. But the damage has been done. No further attacks are really needed. There is... I mean, the military structure... The military production is over. Bastion is online, so there's no further way for these for these workers to get a whole lot of damage in for free. So just taking what they can. There's no escape. It's just kill everything they that they can get their hands on and... then die. As always, Santa Claus and Flicky building up military behind it and Flicky going pretty heavily for their economy as well. Getting prepped for an expansion. 
while dealing with five Sapari. That's the thing. They having gotten rid of Sparkling's Altar of the Worthy, the blue team basically doesn't have to worry about losing map control to the red team. They they got a significant military advantage from that rush. And again, Santa sneaking in a bunch of a bunch of mass hunters because there's nothing in front. The expansions were canceled. The Master Hunter's coming around the back. The Bone Stalker's just finishing up for Spockling. Best position for them to be in defensively. So Santa, not quite the ideal timing for their side. They are still able to get some symbiotes down, but that's the cost potentially of all these Master Hunters. That's a wash. Yeah, if the Master Hunters all die, that even with the ones that did die, it's hard to call. I'd say that that wasn't really... That didn't really help them any. Maybe bought them a little bit of time just by holding their force, holding their opponent's forces back in their own base longer. But that's at the cost of having to rebuild the mass hunters. From here, though, we are going to see the red team does start getting a pyre advantage. First time someone's actually claimed pyre in this map. But a mass hunter once again, Santa with the mass hunter run buys. Why not? Take out everything they can. What is Red Team going to respond to this? They don't even care. They're clearly confident they can just deal with it with whatever with the workers themselves, and indeed they can. Are we going to be seeing rocks? No, the rocks are protected by Soul Foundry. Frontline could be attacked. Oh, is Red Team going for it? This seems like a bait. This is a bait. Flicky is absolutely ready with his Antari. Red team catches that space soon enough. They are able to retreat. And it's not able to retreat for free. They're, they're losing some Bone Stalkers. They are going to be... It's again, kind of falling behind on map control. They do have an economy, however. Not a Voyeur does have an expansion being built up. And they are getting more military as well. Of course, they're being forced to retreat right back into their main base. Centauri Master Hunters following along, wiping out the Bone Stalkers with no resistance. They were going for the neutral tower at the worst possible time. Infuse popping for Blue's forces. And this is not going to go anywhere. This gives the shields. But the Sapari still need to defend here. And let the natural open. Not if you're at least is able to save two Sapari. Are they going to cancel these? You, you got to cancel these at this point. There's no way you're going to save them. Bockling does not cancel their Grove Heart. Not a Voyeur. Are they going to cancel their Acropolis? They seem confident they can protect it. No, they do cancel it. Okay. So one cancel does happen. It's again, continue to tear apart the, the Moat line. The Symbiote line. Santa Claus with regroup. Able to start taking out the rest of the forces that have been built up for defense. Spockling desperately building up everything they can to defend, but they're it's just coming out in singles. There's just don't have the resources to build and build everything at once. And that means they cannot get the defenses up at the same time. That does leave not a voyeur open. They can get this parry up that will help defend. Though the god heart, the grove heart doesn't have much life left. Not for the damage being dealt. Still Sapari able to defend. The call is coming online as well. The calls are more vulnerable, but the Sapari. Yeah, look at this Antari, actually. Do have the numbers for it. The Mass Hunters no longer distracted, but also not confident that they can push this against eight Sapari. I do not blame them. That is not enough Mass Hunters to take out eight Sapari in close quarters. Zephyr's coming in from Flicky to help deal with the calls. The defense has been successful for the time being. Still tough. Dervishes are online. Yep, Dervishes are online. The Dervish run buys are the least of their problems. It's been masked hunters the entire time. Not to mention the natural expansion is completely dominated by their blue team. Like, there's no map control at all for red team. They have some pyre just from getting it over time. Sparkling took some off the map earlier. That's all they've got. Like, not a warrior could infuse. They can't have an Zegis. Sparkling, if... They wanted it. I mean, they could... I don't know. Bloodwell is probably the best thing they could do at this point, if that. 
Or mark, no, mark prey. Sorry, the plane's all. They obviously can just mark prey. Yeah, mark prey would be... Would be very helpful, actually. I'm surprised they haven't used it at all. 25 pyre, and it's... You know, it gives you a vision of your opponents. It, they hang out there, they get a damage. Uh, they take extra damage. Not happening, though. Offering... Offering Master Arms coming in. Will be able to take out a Legion Hall? Ooh, yes, they do take it out. Barely. At great cost to themselves, half of them go down in the process. But getting rid of Legion Hall means that Nautavoyer just simply cannot build more units. Like, they literally cannot build any more units. They are they are 32 supply. They have 32 supply worth of building. So actions like that definitely save time. And that there, in case you're wondering, was Red Tide. That's one of Malo's abilities. They kill a unit, and everything around regains health and mana. Which means they can very easily set up the Dread Sister for, in this case, Siege Maws. Just to continue the contain. As, again, their third has been built up for Flicky. They are going for their fourth. Over at the 12 o'clock. Santa Claus actually having built their natural expansion this time. And that's that sparkling sparkling designs they can't or both players will decide they cannot deal with this. So we're moving on to game two. I'm oh, sorry, moving on to game three. That was game two. We are very nearly at the end of this potentially. Oh, not if we were, might actually have to go. We don't have to call this early. Well, that appears to be that. Then it seems Santa Claus and Flicky will be winning 2-0 here. I don't know that we can get someone else coming in at the same time. Hmm? Oh. Well, we might have something else happening here. All right. Are we doing this? I'm not sure how this is going. Okay, best it's just a best of one between this, so Okay, Santa making a, I guess, a heal moment? I never watched wrestling. I think this is called a heal moment. Going for the last push. So let's go in. I guess we're going to have Santa against both Flicky and Spockling in a 1v2. I don't know how well the game handles this, but it's going to be a thing. Anyway. We'll be up to that shortly. I... I suppose there'd be a thing I could do if I was into wrestling, because I think there's a thing that wrestling announcers do, but I have no idea. So, we're just going to go with, well, that's an interesting thing happening, as Spockling, as Santa has decided to just go for 1v2 this time. I guess we'll have one last raffle to close it out. Why not? Okay, well, this this seems to be probably the last match for the stream. It's going to be Santa Claus against None of and Flicky, one shot. Santa tries to take the game for themselves on their own, turning on their teammate. Here we go. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Man. Bloody connection lost issue. Just pulling the hype out from under me. Now, I'm trying to hype this up at least a little bit. At least in, in my own low-key way. There might be a problem with game handling 1v2s. Like, there are some awkwardness here with the way the game is designed for matches that aren't 1v1 or 2v2. Uh, I do expect we're going to... We might just not be able to do this. I don't know. I mean, I guess if need be, I could just jump in and make it work, but... Because if I jump in, yeah, I guess I could do that. If I jump in, resign, standing still do the 1v2, but... I don't know if I can get spectator view off that. I don't think I can. Because I'm not a spectator at that point. Alright. Nope! Connection lost. Okay, does not work. All right, well, that's a shame. We broke the game! There's the break the game! The break the game tournament as the game was broken. We <laughs> the breakers. Well... I mean, they're happy, so we'll just go with that, I guess. Alright, so that, I guess, is that? <laughs> I mean... The game has been broken. Worth noting that also is true if you're trying to play single player, or try, like you can start a lobby solo, but you can only do it from the blue position. You can't do it from any of the other positions. You, so yeah, the, the game doesn't really know how to deal with any start position where it's not blue versus red or everything filled up. Or actually, wait, maybe it does. I don't, I don't know. Well, now we get into the point in the stream where we're trying to figure out why the bug is happening. Why is the game broken in the Break the Game weekly stream? Or the Break the Game show match stream. Alright, maybe this will work. I don't know. I don't... Okay, the player is just kind of going off. The Discord chat is just filling up with a bunch of, like, the sort of random thing you sometimes get with your friends, where, like, everyone's just kind of overtired if you've been spending a long time together, and just, like, kinda, everyone's overtired and saying silly things. And basically this kind of ver verbal Calvin ball. Oh! Wet, that does work! Aha! I was right! We can make it work! All right! Okay, so you have to... Okay! And Santa also only has the one base to work with, so it's actually truly 1v2. Yo! We can have 1v2s in this game. Just in a very specific configuration. <laughs> Alright, so, Flicky. Going for standard expansion. Spockling going revenge. Just going, you know what? You did this to me, I'm doing this to you. I got my teammate handling the economy in the backyard. I do not care. I can just go ham. And that's exactly what they're going to do. 
So Flecky is Flecky's doing fine. All right, let's see what Sparkling can pull off here. Oh, it's not down over here. What am I saying? It's Sparkling. Ah. Sparkling and Flicky. Going okay. The Acropolis. Oh no, it's the Groveheart. The only thing left here. Symbiotes from Santa coming to deal with this, and Omnivore as well. Bills have to deal with this. These symbiotes do not have a chance. I mean, Sparkling tried. They they did. It was it was an interesting try. And of course, Flicky is protecting this at the same time. But the question becomes: Can Santa then? build out to deal with their opponents, because, it, again, it is 1v2. And again, Santa does not have the expansions to work with. It's actually good to know that that's how it works. It actually is a per-side thing. Well, sort of per-side thing. The seems to check it, like, is there, is there blue, is there teal? Okay, we need both expansions at the top. Is there orange? Okay, we need both expansions at the bottom. But if there's... Oh no, if it's orange, we need both expansions overall, I think, is what the problem is. Yeah, I don't know, the check is weird. Unless it's going through and it's like, okay, we have blue, then check if teal exists or not, and then check if... No, but then... I don't know, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to reverse engineer this and it's just... I don't know. They're, they're clearly not independent. Anyway, technical... Technical considerations aside, Santa Claus with the Bone Stalkers right off the bat. Going for a very quick Godheart. Not even going for Neurosight. Are they going straight for Ikors? I kind of wonder. Like, like, or, no, sorry, not Ikors. Thrum. So they're going straight for Thrum? They're going straight for... What tech are they doing? I really need to know. They're against some Pyre at the same time, though. Being that it is 1v2, they're going to struggle to actually maintain map control. But for Conditioning! Blue team does not want to try to deal with the center of the map. I'm not sure if they think Santa's already taken it out or is going to be too much hassle to deal with. But Santa gets it for free. So it's 50 power for Santa and then be about 30 power for Flicky. So Santa's sitting pretty. Going immediately for the Red Fail. Okay. Oh, oh Whitewood Reapers. Is that's that seems to be what's going on. Then also with a hidden expansion of the 12 o'clock, because why not? As the rest of the Bone Stalkers coming around the back side, which Flicky... Are they going to see? No, they're not going to see! They have no clue this is happening. Just going for the other Pyre... Over the other Pyre Miner. Getting out even more for themselves. They will have a pillar very shortly. A base trade seems like the strategy they're going for. They want to get a pillar, they want to have... Pillar push come in. I don't think they're aware of Santa Claus pushing here. They are now! Not going for base trade anymore. Going for the defense. Santa, what are you doing? You're going to lose your Bone Stalkers. Getting the Whitewood Reaper, sure, but the Bone Stalkers need to be... Need to be micro need to be kited. Or need to go in and deal some damage. There's no defenses at all, except for the Bastion, which is too far out of the way to be useful. Dervish coming around the back, though. Flicky well prepared for Bone Stalker run-bys. And those Dervish, oh, right about to take them all out. I only get one so far. Not actually doing a lot of damage. They're not going for a lot of attacks, rather. Still, the Mass Hunters do intercept. Bone Stalkers trying to get away. They simply do not have the health. They kind of have the speed, but two of them are the only ones. No. One goes down? None go down? Just barely staying alive. Whitewood Reapers following up, however. That's going to be the, the go-to option for the kill. Send them around the back, make them invisible off of the mo off the symbiotes, and then take out, or maybe invisible off of these units here. Make them invisible off something. As long as they're invisible, they can do whatever they want. Get invisible off the symbiote. No, what? This white would need to go invisible. Okay. One goes down. Oh, this is Santa's worst nightmare right now. They wanted all four, likely wanted all four pop in, take out the the Groveheart, and just be done with it. Because they do that to every single one of the expansions. They do win. Third expansion is coming up for Santa Claus. Against, well, against Flicky getting their third, and Spockling hasn't gotten their third, any of their potential thirds yet. 
Santa getting up their standard defense over by the 12 o'clock. Corner expansion as well. No natural has been taken yet. Not sure if Flicky and Orzen, or sorry, Flicky and Spockling are going to be going for it. I mean, Flicky has their has their dervishes. They can run around the map and just double check what's going on. So when they do that, they will be at least not too far behind if they go for it. Same time though, Whitewood Reapers are coming around the back. Go invisible. Take out a couple of calls. Just yeah, keeping their opponent's forces small. That's all they can really do right now. They can keep Spockling's forces from being too effective, too powerful. Something. Those scepters coming in from Flicky around the back. That might seal it. I, I mean, okay, granted, yes, there's more than just this, but the production structure is... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! Okay, good. The production structures are a little bit limited. Like, there really only are these two. Santa only has 48 supply to work with. If the main base goes down, that's kind of going to be it. What is going on? Oh, okay. Bone Stalker's just being weird. Whitewood Reaper's coming around the side for Santa. Going to be able to take out this base. Yeah, this, this base is... Is it dead? It's dead. There is no defending it in time. Just the DPS is too high. Going for the... I'm having broken. Prove me wrong. There is, in fact, one way to defend this. But there's no way to defend the natural expansion now. Or there's no way to defend whatever Santa decides to go for in the natural expansion. Are they going to go invisible? They go invisible. Yeah, they are. They're getting out of there. Did some damage. Got out. Didn't quite get rid of the Acropolis, but did force 50 pyre. Though, Flicky has a surplus. They got 100 pyre. They don't have to worry at all. I mean, again, map control has been in the blue team's favor this entire time. Apart from the very beginning where Santa was able to get both of the center, center pyre camps... There has been no point where Sand has been in control. They're focusing entirely on Whitewood Reapers, which makes sense. They want to go for these hit and run attacks to try to take out their opponents' Acropolis or opponents' town halls without actually having to fight the army straight up. So if they can do that, then that gives them the win. Like that's that is how you win this game. You kill the town halls. What in the world? Oh dear. Well, anyway. Yeah, you kill the town halls, you take them out, you avoid server lag. Apparently. You don't. And at the same time, though, we have Sparkling in the back lines, infused with Rain of Blood to take out the God Heart. If they can take out the Red Veil, that means there's going to be no more Whitewood Reapers being rebuilt. Which should be enough to finish this off. Is that gonna be that? What the hell? Oh, for shit. I see what's going on. Sorry about that. Figured out the problem for what was causing the freezing. Apparently, my. My GPU's fan was not properly configured right now. Shit. Ah! Be nice if this game didn't kill the audio when you when you tabbed away from it. At any rate, Santa, their expansions have been spotted. The detectors are up. The Whitewood Reapers no longer can benefit from visibility, and that means Flicky and Spockling are just going there. That looks like Santa has lost their advantage. Heck is my fan program? Come on. Huh. Sorry, I'm getting really worried. It's I, I hate to go away from the game while everything's going on, but it's just... There we go. Alright. Back to the game. Main thorn in their side has been wiped out. Most important thing here is that this is this is over. This is done. The Santa 
still has their main base. They still have they have problems coming up pretty soon. But that's about it. Not a whole lot else in their favor right now. Rebuilding the Grove Heart in the main base, at least. Something. Having lost a bunch of the expansions, though, they don't have the... They had some advantages they were working with. But with the Detector, they lost the Whitewood Reaper as an option, and they... While trying to get Thrums from the looks of it... They're not really trying to get Thrums. Oh! Soul Foundry? No, that's not Soul Foundry. That's Deep Nest. The one Behemoths. Appears that'll be too little too late, however. No, they've gone into god mode. No, they've, they've thrown the towel. That is game! Sparkling and Flicky have won the 1v2. Santa's face heal turn was not going to go their way. And that is that! Santa has lost. Flicky is the winner of this week's random show matches doing random things. And that is that. Thank you for, for that rather awkward game, but neat. And also discovery of how to make a 1v2 work. So with that, we are going to be calling it for now. Hopefully my graphics card did not melt because... Like, really, it's weird. Graphics card fans are... I don't know why it's configured this way. MSI Afterburner is your friend, but it just... It shut itself off for some reason a while ago. Anyhow, back to the tournament. Thank you... Or not tournament, the show matches, stream, whatever. So, I mean, it wasn't really a tournament. But thank you anyway for the players who did sign up. The ones that we saw playing earlier today. Flicky, Spockling, Santa, and N not a voyeur. Also census, but they had some issues with the game downloading, so they weren't able to play. And that... Yeah, thank you all of you as well for watching, because... You know, that was kind of the point at this point. It was just show match for the viewers. Other than that, we are done. So have a good night, everyone. And tune in tomorrow for... Or stay tuned tomorrow, the Walter Tournament, which I plan to be casting. I think Westopoly might also be casting. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. Westopoly has announced they're going to be doing some streaming of that too. So I don't know if it's going to be one stream or two streams or how that's going to work. I don't even know how many people have signed up. It seems like... This week has not been great for signups for these tournaments. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, there's going to be... Santa's going to try another shot at the whole Walter Mode tournament thing. It will be 1v1 this week. And so far, only Spockling has signed up, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, maybe just... I guess keep an eye on the channel. If there's nothing, there's nothing. It happens. Keep it on the channel, keep it on the Discord, whatever whatever happens. In any event, thank you all of you who did watch this week. And congratulations to those who won keys as well. Until next time, have a good night, everyone. <laughs>